Hi there, I'm Lee and welcome to iMind Blocks. In this video, I'll be sharing with you how to create new POC style two plots for your Burst Coin uh, mining rigs, or how to convert from your Burst Coin POC one plots and convert them into POC two plots. So a lot of people have been asking me about this. And the reason they've been asking me is because this is something that needs to be done um, ahead of time uh, in, and in advance for the burst coin fork. So the fork is happening at block 500,000, which is just under four days um, time. So converting your plots or creating new plots is something that you need to do if you want to continue mining burst coin um, on the new fork. So I'm going to show you two different ways. One is using the Turbo Plotter 9000 to create a new POC2 plot. Um, and the other method is converting from a POC1 to a POC2. So if you've got existing plots, I'll show you how to um, convert them over. So let's start with the Turbo Plotter. So the Turbo Plotter, um, I've done this, a really good in-depth video on the Turbo Plotter. and um, for some people, if you're not, if you're new to Burst, it might just be easier to watch that video and then just start with it. So the Turbo Plotter 9000, what they've done is they've added this POC2 support and they've added that by default. So if you just download it and you create your first plots with it, they will automatically be POC2 um, plots, okay? So from the Turbo Plotter website, you select it and um, download it like you normally would um, any other file. So then from your downloads folder, you should have a zip file. So you've got this turbo plotter and the version that is currently um, available is this 0.9. Um, so I've just extracted that and now we've got this turbo plotter 0.9. So when you start it and the first time you run it, it will ask you for your burst coin address or a numeric account ID. Um, you get the numeric account ID from your burst wallet or a burst coin explorer. So we start the turbo plotter for the first time. And like I said, I've done a much more in-depth video of this. I'm just kind of going through this quickly um, if you're more familiar uh, with uh, plotting. So to set the configuration to create a POC2 um, plot. So we select what our writing device is gonna be. So in this case, I'm gonna select our CPU. The SSD path, I'm just gonna leave it blank because I'm already writing to an SSD. If you've got a mechanical drive, you can use an SSD as a caching drive. And then we've got our target disk path. So I'm going to put it in this uh, demo plot. Um, and I'll call it turbo POC, POC2. So then our starting nonce, I'm going to start it from zero for simplicity. If you've got previous um, plots, you will start at the nonce that they end at. It also has the auto option if you're confused about that. Uh, the max file size, I just want it to be one uh, gigabyte. And sorry, just going back, I almost missed that one. So it says how much uh, file space do you want to be filled? Um, so I need it one. So it's going to be one uh, times one effectively. If you have it a fill, let's say five, and you have the max file size at one, you end up with five uh, individual files and I'm just gonna use eight gigabytes of RAM. So that's all our details. So CPU, no cache, the writing location, we're gonna have a total of one gigabytes, starting on zero, max file size is gonna be one, and RAM eight gigabytes. So we're gonna start plotting, and this is gonna write our fresh POC2 plot, which is gonna be ready for the burst quiet and fork. So I'll leave that going, it'll probably just take a couple of minutes. Okay, so we just got the confirmation there and that file has completed. So now we can close the turbo plotter. If you open up the demo plot folder, you can see this is the, uh, the folder that I created. So inside we've got our new POC2 um, plot that's inside there. Although actually the starting nonce should be zero I don't know why that is. That's something that I have to check. Maybe I made a mistake um, in there. But that is our POC2 plot. So that's how you create a POC2 plot from, um, from scratch. 
So now what I'll show you is how to convert a POC1 plot into a POC2 plot. So this is going to be relevant for most people. Um, so there's two ways um, to do this. One is kind of like what they call inline conversion. So your, your POC1 plot, you kind of overwrite in itself and make it into a POC2 plot. Or the other plot is kind of like drive to drive or folder to folder conversion. So your POC1 plot, you're kind of rewriting as a brand new plot on, on in, in a different location. But um, I'm going to be showing you the inline conversion. You can work out the, the drive to drive conversion yourselves. I don't think many people uh, will do that. So go to downloads. So the program is called POC1 to POC2 conversion. If I go back to the, um, the burst software wiki, you can see it's uh, all the way down here. So there's a GitHub um, for it as well. You can see it all there and then just download it from, from there. Go back to downloads. So you end up extracting the zip file and you end up with this POC1 to POC2 conversion file. So it's a GUI interface, which means it's nice and simple um, to use. So I'll just quickly talk you through it. So we want to add our POC1 file. So you've got an existing plot like this one that I've got here. So it's a five gigabyte plot and it's a POC1 plot. So the original BurstCon plots like most people will have. And um, we want to open it. And then, like I said, so this has two options. We can do inline conversion. Like I say, it's going to rewrite the file on top of itself. Or you can use it as a, um, or you can rewrite the file to a secondary location. I think it's best to kind of rewrite over the top of itself. Um, uh, particularly for smaller files, if you have a very large file, you might want to kind of move that to a second drive. And um, that way you're not going to be damaging the original pop one file in case something happens. Um, but anyway, so we've selected our POC1 plot file. Uh, we've left the output folder, we're just gonna left that blank, so it's gonna rewrite over the top of itself, and then we're gonna start the conversion. There's also a memory option in the top right-hand side. Um, use as much uh, RAM as you have um, available. Um, so start conversion. And then we're gonna just confirm So what that's gonna do is write our plot over the top of itself. So if we have a look at a demo plot folder, so you can see this is the file that we selected. And um, at the end, we should have a, a file that is a, basically the same size, but it'll have a different file name and that'll be the new version of the file. Okay, so the program has finished. And now if we take a look, you can see we've got this new plot file so you can see the file name uh, format has changed and that's uh, an indicator that it's basically completed. So now we have a POC2 um, file. Okay guys, so that's it for this video. So I've showed you how to create your new POC2 burst coin plots from scratch and how to convert your POC1 burst coin plots into POC2 uh, burst coin plots in this video. So um, I know it's a little bit complicated, but hopefully you guys um, get and you can use this information. The second video or the next video after this, which actually be the third video in the series, will be covering um, your mining. So what you need to do to set up your new uh, mining software and also how to connect to the, uh, the Burstcoin fork pools. So that's part three and I'll be doing that tomorrow. So look out for that one. Thanks for watching guys. Um, I'll see you on the next video.